Hello everybody, welcome back to G Views. I'm a 20 year old cisgendered white girl who loves talking about movies and TV. Now for today's G View, I'm gonna be looking at Scooby Doo, the 2002 movie. Um, it was directed by Raja Gosnell and is one of my favorite movies. And I really want to talk about it because it is the true Scoob movie and I don't know what this new animated Scoob is but it's not it. This film was one of my childhood favourites, I used to watch it all the time and I just re-watched it and it still holds up today. I mean the CGI or whatever is terrible but I don't care because it's not supposed to be realistic and I just love the style, it brings me right back, but nostalgia. I used to watch the animated TV show and really, really love kind of the mystery and the scariness, but also with the comedy. And I love the connection of the five main characters. One of the best things about the movie is that each of the characters is fully realized and they're not just like one dimensional. Um, and they all have just great chemistry. I'm really using my hands today. Um, they just have great chemistry and they kind of emphasize each other's strengths and weaknesses and they really help come together and it's kind of emotional. Like when they split off and just Shaggy and Scoob are just left and Scoob's like, are we gonna break up? And Shaggy's like, no, your friends stick together. <laughs> So it tugs the heartstrings with friendship and coming together but also it's super funny and really inventive with fighting styles and monsters and I gotta talk about Spooky Island. That island I want to go to, like those rides look incredible and like tiki bars and cocktails and it's all young people. I was like, I want to go to Spooky Island, like I love spooky things so I would be so down for that island. So I want to talk about costuming, I could talk about costuming and wiggery um, for a very long time, um, but the costumes are amazing, like each of the characters of course has allocated their own colour, so Fred is the blue and the white, Velma is of course orange, Daphne is purple, Shaggy is brown and green and Scoob is Scoop. I love Daphne's fashion in this movie um very 60s with the go-go boots and then um when they're at the airport she has like seven massive suitcases in all purple and she's wearing this purple like mini dress and the purple glasses and i was like yes Daphne. and velma is of course wearing her iconic orange turtleneck the whole way through daphne's looking like a goddess and velma's looking like an orange. Fred in the first like scene has the worst wig I've ever ever seen on a man. Like legit. Think about like Nicole Kidman's wig and lion and just think ten times worse. And that's Fred's wig. Rewatching this movie, I have a new love for Shaggy. Like Shaggy is a communist socialist one of them um, he does not care about material goods he does not care about money he does not care about uh, accommodation like luxury he only cares about food and I'm here for that I feel like Shaggy is what we need in society nowadays um, with his best pal Scoob he's all for the environment he's a vegetarian and he loves dog biscuits. <laughs> um, so a few of the iconic moments from this. Um, when we are first introduced to Rowan Atkinson's character and he does a demonstration of um, being scared. <laughs> oh yes, you wouldn't want to run into me in the dark, have you? <laughs> Another favorite movie scene is when um Mary Jane is calling the Coast Guard and she's like got my phone. She's like, Hi, um our friends have just been kidnapped and then the Coast Guard is like, okay, okay. Ah. 
How to be a subtle villain. Probably my favourite, favourite scene is when Mary Jane and Shaggy are on one scooter and Scoob's on the other scooter and, and Scoob and Mary Jane look at each other like ha 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 and then Mary Jane gets hit and bleh, and, sh and then it's like ha 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 molds her face, she molds her face back into place and she's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god So I would say like my favourite characters are Daphne, my post-feminist icon, who does not want to be a damsel in distress. I feel like she mentions that term about 20 billion times. Fred, who... <laughs> I have a few problems with Fred. Fred, who takes credit for all Velma's work at the very beginning and is very narcissistic and very blonde and very dumb. He's like really stupid and he's like oh my god Daphne that's that's your only worth is being kidnapped and I was like screw you Fred you do not deserve post-feminist icon Daphne Blake another of my favorite characters is Shaggy and Scoob I feel like they're just a unit together um they're fantastic they have just the most beautiful friendship um and then uh Velma so basically everyone <laughs> except Fred so anyway, I would probably give this film 100 out of 10. Legit, I would give this film like a 9 out of 10 because it's perfect. It's legit perfect except from a few tweaks. Fred. And the film is so short. Like, what, what happened to like really short, like 90 minute run times? Like... It's perfect. I watched it and I didn't feel long. It didn't drag at all. Like the shots, it was well shot. Great music. Really fun. I was in there. I wanted to be there. I wanted to fight these ghouls with them. Um, yeah, fantastic movie. 9 out of 10. So anyway guys, I hope you liked this GV. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will link my last review. Um, in the description box below you can check that out and remember my Instagram and my Twitter is Located in my YouTube header where you just click the link and then it comes up if you guys have any other movies or TV shows you want me to watch I will be uh, Looking at your comments and tell me what shows or movies to watch. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you soon